Hey guys, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing iOS 15 on the iPhone 8 Plus here. As you can see here, I have the silver edition of the iPhone 8 Plus that's been around for some time. This phone was released back in September of 2017, and it's just a little over four years, but it's still able to get iOS 15. And in this video, we're going to talk about the experience of upgrading to iOS 15, some of the things we notice around using the apps, the camera, the battery, overall performance, and whether or not if you should upgrade to iOS 15 or not, and if the upgrade is actually worth it or not. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe But Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these from our more devices at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's talk about the iPhone 8 Plus. As we mentioned, it's a full four-year-old phone, and it's one of the last devices that you can get in the Plus size that still has the home button, that has wireless charging, and tons of features like the dual camera on it. It's one of those phones that that's going to be around for probably another two or so major updates. So it's not a phone that's going to go away anytime soon. And that's why we were able to update to iOS 15. So if you have an update, you can simply go into settings and then general software update. And you'll see that there is a update out there for you. You can choose to stay on iOS 14 as well, but you can update to iOS 15. And come with the features of upgrading to iOS 15, you'll notice it does take some time. So it's a major update. So it took us around... 40 minutes or so to upgrade so, so look between somewhere between 40 to 45 minutes depending on your Wi-Fi for you to upgrade but once you upgrade it you're going to be good to go you'll probably notice the first thing is there's a new wallpaper by default if you go into the wallpaper setting you'll see there's a new wallpaper that you can choose from so that's the only new wallpaper added there's other feature called focus mode now you can do focus mode besides do not disturb you can set your focus mode of the day for personal work or sleep so that you're not uh, getting notification that aren't related. So it tries to filter out as best as it can to minimize the distraction throughout your day. You're also going to see some updates around default apps like Safari here where now you have tabs you can open up pretty cool where you can ha have as many tabs as you want like you would on any browser on your computer. So that's pretty neat of Apple being able to do that. You can also notice of course other things like updates to the map apps. Now you're going to see couple of updates happening such as nearby transit, all around place card, improved search and also these guides around it. So Apple is really looking to leverage their maps app so that you don't have to use a third party app. So if you haven't played around with it, go ahead and update your phone. You probably see these features. Now you have a global view, you're able to do a little bit more. Of course, on an 8 here, it does take a little time to render because the iPhone 8, as you know, has the A11 Bionic chip right now. The 13 lineup is the 15 Bionic chip. So that's going to be a couple generation old. You're going to see updates to the weather app as well. You'll notice things like the maps, weather um, notification, and a whole new design where things have been a little bit consolidated here where you have these uh, design updates where it's more in a feel like app icons you'll notice you also notice the same thing in settings as well sort of a redesign or refresh of their ui so that's going to be other thing you'll notice around the wallet app if you haven't used it or or a really person that uses the wallet app in the past you were able to add credit and debit card now you can actually add things like keys for your hotel your car and also able to add identifications and a couple other neat features that's going to be possible of course if you're using the iCloud so now it's accessible across your device of course there's other things like uh, updates to FaceTime now you can actually send FaceTime link to anyone so now whether they have iPhone or not they can actually join just when you send them the link so you can literally FaceTime anyone there's been updates to the messages like they always do with the emojis that are possible now you can share more things uh, that besides the emoji itself you can share music you can share your podcast tv shows and a lot more going there you can also do pins all of that you can pretty much learn about it in our video that we talk in depth about it of course there's other things like updates to offline Siri so if you use Siri now the phone is able to process that and there's also updates to the camera app now you can actually do live text so if it recognizes a text here for example if we can get it to recognize a text it's not quite working here but pretty much when it detects a te text here it should be able to now be able to 
copy and paste it over to anything. So that's going to be another feature that we'll see on the iPhone 8 Plus sooner or later. Of course, there's much more going on with the iPhone 8 Plus itself. When it comes to applications so far, none of the applications had any issues so far. So all the major applications we downloaded from our shopping app to social media app to just daily tasks that we do, daily productivity tool, music tool, your uh, video streaming platforms like Netflix, YouTube, all of that has been working fine. We opened up all of the major apps. I haven't really noticed any issue, and you shouldn't because on the major app, iOS 15 itself, all the apps that are popular are going to be updating their apps so that they can run on iOS 15 and take advantage of the latest version. And sooner or later, it's probably going to be needed that you update your phone. So why not do it as soon as you get to, of course, that's not to say that you should still wait to see if your phone is one of those phones that could be affected. So there's nothing to worry for us since we did update the phone. One thing we noticed when we do upgrade it is going to be the battery life. The battery life here on this phone, of course, it needs service because it's under 80%. But the battery health itself didn't change when we did upgrade it. So you're not going to see any changes to the upgrade itself. The battery overall usage has been the same since we upgraded it. We didn't see any sort of issues like the battery dying or having any issues. So no issues with the battery as well. So that's pretty much it for the upgrade itself. Of course, uh, is the upgrade worth it? We think it is so far for the phone. We haven't had any issue, had any issue. Of course, the performance has been the same. We're able to take advantage of some of the new features. And sooner or later, you're probably going to have to update it, so why not do it now? So that's kind of our thought on it. We want to hear from you guys. If you guys upgraded to iOS 15 on your 8 Plus, what are your thoughts have been? Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.